Understanding crypto technology. It's easier than you may think. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, blockchain, smart contracts, non-fungible tokens, decentralized autonomous organizations, DeFi, staking, fintech, Web3, etc., etc. This industry is full of colorful buzzwords. Many people are confused about what these terms mean. They are often badgered into thinking this high-tech world is too complicated for regular people to understand. But is that really the case? Think about it like this. Imagine all the technology we use. Could you explain to somebody what's special about the internet, fax machines, the microwave oven, self-driving cars, the electric light bulb? All of these things are what we call disruptive technology, new inventions that are clear improvements over existing systems and have disrupted or changed our way of doing things. For example, do you need to understand the nature of atomic particles and radiation to appreciate the value of a microwave oven? If someone asks me, what's so special about a microwave? I can answer that in five seconds. It cooks many foods faster than conventional methods. Need a specific example? Here's a potato. I can bake it in the oven for three hours or in five minutes in a microwave. Clear as day, this is innovation. It's disruptive. There's no ambiguity there. It clearly does something better, faster, more efficiently. So anything that's truly innovative and disruptive, especially something being sold to the public, should be able to be easily described in simple terms, and everyday people should be able to get it. You don't need to sit through a 60-minute video on the history of cooking food to appreciate the microwave. Its innovation is obvious. And this is the problem with crypto and blockchain. For almost a decade and a half, this tech has been around, and getting somebody to explain it in simple terms, what it's uniquely good for, seems to be an exercise in frustration. Should it be that way? No. And that's the first sign something here may not be right. Before we get into the specifics of the technology, let's first talk about some of the terminology and psychology that surrounds the crypto industry. Picture, it's gone again. Yes. Where have you hidden it this time? didn't take it. Why should I take it? It's no use to me. Why should you take other things? Pencils? Knives? All down. Bella, where's the picture? Crypto gaslighting. Maybe you've heard of the term gaslighting. It's a colloquialism loosely defined as making someone question their own reality. Originating from the 1944 film Gaslight, the plot involves a man who is trying to find the riches stored in the house of a well-to-do family. He marries an heir to the family, and they live in the house. As he begins to find things and appropriate them, his wife notices things missing. He convinces her that it's her fault, and she's losing her mind. Among other things, when he's searching in the attic for things to steal, he turns on the upstairs lights, which cause the downstairs gas lights to flicker. She notices this. He tells her the lights aren't flickering, hence the term gaslighting for convincing somebody that what they think is happening really isn't happening. The term may also be used to describe a person, a gaslighter, who presents a false narrative to another group or person which leads them to doubt their perception and become misled, disoriented, or distressed. Oftentimes, this is for the gaslighter's own benefit. In the world of crypto, there's a lot of gaslighting happening. The most common version is when crypto is described to others and they don't think it makes much sense. That they're told, you don't understand. I don't understand crypto. I don't understand crypto. What? What is it anyway? What is it anyway? No physical money, so what is it you actually buy? What is it you even buy? All the elaborate terminology also serves to confuse people and make them think crypto technology is too complicated for most people to get. In reality, it's not. NFTs are a good example of this. People paying huge amounts of money for a cartoon image of an ape. Really? Yes, really. Okay, boomer. You're too old to understand. This is the future! That's gaslighting. Instead of going into detail on why something so intangible would be worth so much, you're simply dismissed as not being capable of appreciating NFTs. It's your fault for not seeing this obvious value. 
Another way people are gaslit in the crypto industry is being unilaterally told certain things are good and certain things are bad. This often involves gross oversimplification of complicated systems, resulting in dichotomies like centralization is bad, decentralization is good, government bad, Bitcoin good, central banks bad, blockchain good. In fact, the word decentralized is a fundamental meme in the world of crypto. Proponents repeat it ad nauseum as if it's an instant gold medal award in debate. Declare something in the crypto world decentralized and bam, it's automatically assumed to be better than anything that's centralized or subject to government influence. Rarely is there any actual evidence presented that justifies such an assertion. You're just expected to acknowledge this unsupported universal truth. And if you don't, well then you're crazy, you're part of the problem, or you don't understand.